right guys, welcome back. Today I have a new clear stamp set. This one is featuring Let's Go to the Beach with some other beachy elements, our sandcastle, snorkeling, little shark fin, and so on. Today I'll be making a kind of ocean cutout um, scene on my beige textured card just to give it a bit more contrast, not our usual kind of stark white. Behind my card and my stamps as well, I have this watercolor cardstock paper. You are more than welcome to watercolor your own paper and cut it out, but for the sake of ease and time, um, I have this here. So, in lieu of that, I have also pre-cut out all of my um, stamps using my Cricut machine and will start stamping all of these so that I can set them aside and let them dry down. So I'm gonna just move these out of the way. I have my tape also I can set aside, my block, my ink, and I can open these up. Take it out. and I should be ready to get going. The card I have in mind is going to be featuring the let's go to the beach phrase, a little crab, a little life preserver, and I think that's all I'm planning on so far. The rest of my elements, I'm just gonna set aside for now. And if I need them or change my mind, they are all there and ready to go. So it should be, let's go to the beach. And all right, looks good. Start with my little crab. So now I have my card ready. I have my paper and I'm just looking I have two different tones of this watercolor here. And I think I actually, I think I like this tone better. I thought for sure I would like this, but again, just part of the crafting process. Sometimes your ideas change. I'm just gonna do a quick tracing of my card. So I'm looking and I want to do an additional cutout of my card that has kind of this wobbly blob-like shapes to mimic the waves. And to do that, I think I'm just gonna kind of freehand it and see what I can think of. And I think I want it to be kind of more off. And then I'm actually gonna do an additional layer just so that it has a bit more contrast and it pops out some more. And this is all just super experimental. I'm just kind of playing around and seeing what I think I could do or what maybe needs to be changed and just playing around, honestly. Not bad, but I could actually cut this down a little bit more. And with this, I'm actually going to attach the paper onto the card, but have a little bit of overhang. And I'm gonna do that because I want to have a really nice straight cut. I don't want any wonky bits hanging off of the side um, or interfering with the overall look of the card. So I think I'm gonna kind of place it like that. And I'm gonna tape it down. Ooh. 
with these kind of layering paper effects, I do like to load up on some more tape or glue tape than usual, just so it really sticks down and it's not gonna go anywhere. All right, I think I'm ready to start placing my elements onto my card. I definitely want it to say, let's go to the beach. And I certainly want my little crab guy on here. Looking at it, I think I'm good. However, before I go and attach any of these pieces, I'm gonna go in and just add some light shading with my alcohol markers so that there's a little more contrast going on here and it's not so um, flat because this is really looking good, but as I start to build and add things, I don't want it to get pancaked. So my favorite white gel pen And these are just gonna be some highlights. There's really no rhyme or reason, um, especially when it comes to adding detail to water. but I'm definitely following the curvature of my paper. And I'm sure you can tell, especially on this darker paper, it really adds that just extra pop, that little something that was missing. This is also where I'm gonna add some little specks and speckles to my sand. That's a nice kind of dark color. A nice middle tone. And this should be, it might almost be too yellow. I'm gonna set that aside. Same thing with the sand. Really no direct. I'm just kind of making some dashes. Maybe some dots. And in addition to that, you can see that when the marker dries down, the color also lightens up. And like in the past videos, I'm just using the side of my marker and doing really quick light strokes so that it doesn't get too, too dark or too crazy. I'm doing that same kind of stippling motion some of these pieces that are a bit smaller and you don't want to be dragging your um, brush or your marker across the paper, just dabbing the ink into the paper gives just as nice of a color wash that's really solid and opaque. This is a good way too to get any pigment into little nooks and crannies, especially if you do not have a really steady hand or you're just not the biggest fan of coloring. Pushing the ink into the paper can work really well. With that said though, you can see that I'm not crushing the marker into the paper because it just ruins the felt 
ruins the marker, and especially with a newer, juicier marker, it's just going to create a giant blob. I think I'm ready for placement now. Can go here, here, and then maybe kind of here. I already set aside some of my little foam feet that I am going to be using to attach my elements onto the card. I definitely want my let's go to the beach, if I can pick it up, <laughs> to be raised and to do that. All right, final little embellishments. I think I'm actually gonna do some little blue ones just to tie everything all in. I think that's looking pretty good. Got my little sandy setup. Let's go to the beach, my waves, my highlights, and of course my little embellishments. Overall, this was a super fun and just playful card that is appropriate for sending a greeting or wishing someone well or even just inviting them out. Really easy and looks pretty good in my opinion. Of course, as always, we would love to see what you will create with our clear stamp sets. And to share that with us, please tag us with a hashtag stamp with us. Again, hit us with a hashtag on social media with stamp with us. Thanks for joining. <laughs>